You guys asked for it, so here it is. We're gonna start doing smartphone performance tests focused on mobile gaming. We have a lot of phones here at Yuga Tech HQ, each with their own special something. Some have great design, great cameras, great battery life, but in this series, none of that matters. The only two questions we want to answer are, does it perform well? And can it game? Hey guys, this is Kim of Yuga Tech, and for our first episode, we chose to test the Vivo X21. It's an awesome phone with a fancy schmancy in-display fingerprint scanner, but it's also packing some pretty good internals. Snapdragon 668 core processor, 6 gigabytes of RAM, up to 128 gigabytes of storage, and it has a performance enhancing feature called AI Smart Engine, which we will be turning on for this video. But hold on to your seats first, guys. Let's check out overall performance before we dive into gaming. The only apps we have installed are the actual benchmarks and games that we need. As for settings, we have set the animation speed to 0.5 in the developer options. The reason we're doing this is to sort of squeeze out as much performance as we can without the unnecessary load. It's just to keep things smoother. Also, like I said earlier, AI Smart Engine is on for an extra boost. What this does is it stops those unnecessary background processes and frees up RAM so that the game you're playing gets all the system resources it can. So let's begin with seeing how fast the X21 can boot up. Off you get to the home screen quite fast. With a time just of a few seconds, apps launch quickly even when there are a lot running in the background and switching between them is no trouble either. For synthetic benchmarks, it gets a really good score of over 140,000 points in Antutu, a little over 6,000 in PC Mark Work, and over 1,000 as well in 3D Mark Slingshot Extreme. Pretty good results, right? But those are just numbers. We don't care about numbers right now. It's time to test some games. For this, we're gonna play five games for around 15 minutes each. We have PUBG Mobile, Rules of Survival, NBA 2K18, Mobile Legends, and Asphalt 9. We chose these games because they are pretty graphically demanding. And we're gonna play at the highest possible settings. We're starting the test with a full battery, and after about an hour of gaming, we'll see how much got drained. So what are we waiting for? Cue the montage. The X21 does get a little bit warm during gaming sessions, but honestly, it's not hot enough that it bothers us. As for gaming audio, it's actually really good, even if it's a down-firing speaker. It's loud, crisp, and clear, and even immersive if you're in a quiet area. For those curious about overall battery performance though, the X21 lasted an insane 17 hours in our video loop test. Charging takes almost 3 hours though, quite a long time. So with all that, can the Vivo X21 game? Well, it definitely can. It performs pretty smoothly even with high graphics settings, has great speakers, and has the battery capacity to keep your gaming sessions going. And that wraps up this video. What do you guys think about this format? Are there any other phones you'd like us to make a gaming review about? Please do let us know in the comment section down below, over at our Twitter at Yugatech or our Facebook page. And if you like this video, smash the like, hit the bell icon to get notified of our future uploads, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Again, this is Kim of Yugatech, and I'll see you in the next video.